In this video, we're going to take an NDVI map from the Sentinel-2 satellite. We're then going to import the field polygons for Denmark. We're then going to select one field and clip out the NDVI values for that specific field. We're going to change the resolution of these NDVI values and finally calculate an application map based on it. So I've just opened QGIS here. We start by pressing this button here, add raster layer to add the NDVI map. I have just saved the file on the desktop, so NDVI, press open. And we want to change the colors of this. So let's just right click, press properties, just press style, and then choose single band pseudo color here. And let's just choose greens, and with minimum value of 1 or 0, and a maximum value of 1, press apply and OK. And that looks a bit better. Then let us add the field polygons. So press here, add vector layer, browse, and I have the field polygons here and the desktop too locally. So press the field polygons.shp, press open, open. And if we just zoom out a bit, we see all the field polygons for Denmark here. So let's zoom back in. And let's remove the fill of the field polygons so again right click style simple fill fill style let's just say no brush so that leaves us just with the borders of the field polygons now let's find a field with some variations in it so let's check this one looks good so select the field polygons and press this button here so to be able to select the specific field and right click the field polygons layer and press save as so we want to save just this field and let us just call it field 1 and remember to click uh, save only selected features so this sometimes takes a couple of seconds here we go and let's again remove the fill so no brush and let's click away the other polygons here so we just left with the field polygon of the field that we wanted to look, look into so now we want to uh, clip out the NDVI, NDVI values within this polygon so over here let's just remove this um, right clip choose the last function here clip raster with polygon and then under input we want the NDVI values for the polygon that we want to uh, clip we want field 1 and then we want to save to file so let's just choose field 1 NDVI press save we don't want it to open the output Press run and just press yes to this one. So now we want to uh, add this. Press add raster layer. We here see the field one and DVI map. Let's change the style for that one too. So single band pseudo color, zero to one. Press OK. And let's just move it a bit down so we have the field polygon on top. And now let's click, uh, click the rest of the NDVI map away. So now we're just left with the NDVI values um, for this specific field. Now let's change the resolution of this. So we have this field 1 NDVI here. Press raster, projections, warp. Now input file should be field 1 and DVI, output file, let's just call it field, whoops, field 1 and DVI, 2 by 2 meter, press save, so resampling method, click that on, choose cubic, we don't want to load it into the canvas. And we just press edit down here to be able to 
right in addition to the command so just after gdel warp press here and then write dash tr for target resolution and then we say 2 and 2 for the x and y resolutions so 2 meter by 2 meter should be the target resolution and then press ok say processing completed again add the raster layer and here we have it field 1 2 by 2 meter and let us just change the style of this one so 0 to 1 oh, 0 to 1 again and if we just click it on and off we see the um, 10 by 10 meter original resolution and the 2 by 2 meter resolution here so let's calculate an application map based on the 2 by 2 meter NDVI values so select this one go into raster press raster calculator and then say the output layer let's put it on the desktop we call it field of oh, field one application map press current layer extent oh. yes so press the field one in dvi two by two meter and then press current layer extent to have the application in two by two meter resolution and then um, let's just say that we want the application map to be one minus the NDVI values. So double click the layer here and press OK. And let's change the style of this one. So let's change single band pseudo color from 0 to 1 with the color oranges apply. So with the equation um, 1 minus the NDVI values, we're gonna have. Um, an application map which have high values um, at the same places where the NDVI value was low and correspondingly low values at the place where we had high NDVI values. So let's just click it on and off, see if that matches what we wanted. And it certainly does. So we can easily see that we have a patch here and here with low uh, NDVI values. And in our application map, we have high values at these patches and um, of course you can put in whichever equation you wanted or add several layers rather than just base the application map on uh, the NDVI values but for this example it works out fine so here we go